So it's kind of like deja vu from 2020. Coaches aren't only responsible for actually coaching, but to constantly be on their toes at all times to potentially find a new opponent. TCPS was supposed to play next Thursday against North Pontotoc. They will now play on Friday at home against Clarkdale. Oklahoma and East Webster both lost an opponent yesterday, and today they said, hey, bud, let's party. The two teams will play on Friday at Oklahoma. Houston was supposed to play Bay Springs as a replacement for Calhoun City, but that game is now off. Houston is still without a game. Meanwhile, New Hope's coach Seth Stillman confirmed with me that him and three of his coaching staff are in quarantine. Their week one opponent, Caledonia, already forfeited the week one game. He said they plan on resting up, not playing next week, and returning for week two's game against Shannon. Which brings me to my conversation with MHSAA Executive Director Ricky Knees. I asked him today about the forfeit situation when a school goes full virtual and the healthy team reschedules a game. Because after all, a forfeit means a loss for one and a win for the other. He said that during non-divisional games, if one team cancels because of COVID, the other team gets a win, like New Hope. However, if the healthy team decides to reschedule, like TCPS, Oklahoma, and East Webster, they essentially scratch out the win by forfeit and the new game will take its place. The team who had to quarantine will still have the loss. Neve said that this will ensure all teams play the same amount of games during the season. When teams get into district play, like last year, there will be no rescheduling. The quarantine team gets a loss, the healthy team gets a win. If both teams quarantine, like during the same week, they both get losses. And uh, I got to say, it's a little, little complicated, so I'll post the whole article online if you need more clarification. But here's something simple. Tomorrow night, we'll be going forth into the community and covering jamborees and games, and baby, it's football time. We're calling it Friday Night Fever Junior, and that's all tomorrow at 10 on WTVA. Alyssa?